One of the major problems for media houses has always been how to balance the people's right to information and freedom of expression alongside professionalism and responsibility. The 98.7 KFM news manager Geoffrey Mutagoma says the stories that will come out of the station will be different. This will be a good platform for the Rwandan community to give ideas that can steer this country to even greater heights. The promise is that the station will be involved in education, information and entertainment of the Rwandan public. Africa has for a long time been either underreported, misreported or not reported at all. Nation Media Group CEO Linus Kitayi encouraged the young station staff to be part of the people who tell the African story. He emphasized that the station would not be run by outsiders, but by Rwandan nationals. I am delighted that we are talking about creating employment. We will train, we will develop, we will promote, and we will have a station. And indeed, any other platforms that we get into, which is run by Rwandans, for Rwandans, about Rwandans. Independent media houses have often been tagged to opposition. Gitahi promptly assured the audience that the value of independence was not one the nation media group would sacrifice for anything. We are completely independent, and the biggest way in which you can measure your independence is the ability to serve the society in the market that you operate in. And we shall never be opposition. We shall always ensure that whatever we do, we do for the benefit of the society in which we, in which we operate in. Protias Musoni, the Rwandan minister in charge of cabinet affairs, welcomed the decision by the nation media group to invest in the country, noting that there was still room for further investments. We only have one TV in this country, and we are anxiously looking for a second one. And therefore, be sure, now that, as you have told me, you are prepared to move direct into digital, I'm sure you can be the first one very soon. The policies that will allow you, anyone, any prospective investor to invest in TV are very conducive. The Rwandan community does want another television station and the government says it will support anyone who comes up to invest in that area because it would drive the only television station, Rwanda TV, to be more professional and competitive. Josephine Karunji, NTV.